Just recently, a jailbreak came out for iOS 11 all the way to iOS 13.5 on all Apple devices. This is the first universal tool since 2017 with iOS 10, and if that wasn't impressive enough, Uncover utilizes a zero-day flaw. This means that Apple, at least beforehand, had no knowledge of the vulnerability, which makes this jailbreak really stand out in comparison to the ones we've had in like the last five years. Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today we're asking the question Question. Is jailbreaking worth it? Unfortunately, as I was in the process of making this video, Apple released iOS 13.5.1, which does patch the jailbreaking vulnerability. I'm not sure how much longer 13.5 will be signed for, but do not update to 13.5.1 if you want to jailbreak. This jailbreak spans from iOS 11 to 13.5, so even if you're on an older version, as long as you don't update, you can still jailbreak. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Jailbreaking can be one of the most fun, but also frustrating things to do with your iPhone. The ability to completely customize every aspect of iOS is really awesome, but it comes at the cost of a lot of your security, along with the instability that jailbreak tweaking brings. You will get bugs. Even if you don't install that many tweaks, you probably will get some issues. And that's just a part of jailbreaking, you know, working through it and trying to figure out a way to make the phone really your own and to make it work just the way you want it. Jailbreaking isn't for everyone, and if you haven't done it before, I generally recommend you don't, simply because uh, Cydia is pretty old and there's a lot of little things that if you don't know how to do already, it can be a little hard to figure out sometimes. This video is not a tutorial on how to jailbreak and I don't plan on making one, so for that I strongly recommend Snazzy Lab's video on it. It goes very in depth and also gives a lot of tweak suggestions for when you're starting out. And regardless of whether or not you follow through, the most important tip I can give to anyone is to always back up your device. Whether you're on your computer through iTunes or a full backup with iCloud, make sure you have a point you're comfortable with restoring back to if you need to, because there can be a lot of problems that come up with jailbreaking. Don't be too scared though, jailbreaking is actually quite easy right now. Actually, something good you can do if you're really interested in jailbreaking is trying it on an old device first. I wouldn't say Cydia is something you need to necessarily practice using. It is simple enough, but when you're messing around your phone like this, you do want to be careful. Part of that being careful comes to what you want to do with your phone. Why are you jailbreaking? Is it so you can customize your iOS experience to your heart's desire? Awesome. That's a good reason. Is it so you can download paid apps for free? That isn't such a good reason. Look, I'm not gonna get all preachy about piracy. You know it's bad. I don't condone it in any way, obviously. You're literally stealing. That being said, uh, you can do it. You can get paid apps for free if you really want to. I'm not gonna say how to do this, but keep in mind you are making a risk if you follow through. The meat of jailbreaking on iOS 13 comes from the level of customizability you have with your phone. Want goofy transitions when you switch pages? That's reasonable. Do you want a weird iOS? iOS 10, iOS 13, Control Center Hybrid, you got it. Want to change themes and hide app names? All right. Want to look like iOS 6? You won't get it 100% right, but there are some cool things you can do. With jailbreaking, you can also iron out a lot of the uh, quirks you get in iOS. For example, with Face ID, I don't have to swipe up to unlock my phone thanks to the tweak Auto Unlock X. I just look at it and it opens up. If I have a notification, then it won't unlock automatically. In Messages, using a tweak called Barmoji puts recently used emojis under the keyboard. This actually makes perfect sense because usually it's just empty space there. Why hasn't Apple already done this? I use battery percent X to show the battery percentage on the top right. It's such a pain that Apple doesn't do this by default. All of all the tweaks I've mentioned and have on my phone in the description below, it'll be right beside where my social media links are, if you know what I mean. But yeah, back to more cool tweaks. The tweak Jellyfish gives you the ability to customize your lock screen more, so that's pretty cool. There's also a tweak called Complications, which looks awesome, and I'll probably get it at some point, I just haven't yet. And there's so many out there to choose from. I know I didn't show that many tweaks there, but if none of those appealed to you, jailbreaking might not be for you. If you don't have any complaints with the iOS experience, that's totally fair, but you really don't need to jailbreak. Just enjoy the Apple ecosystem as it was intended. Enjoy the regular updates, the great security and privacy, and most importantly, the reliability. Jailbreaking really does tend to make things unstable. You'll probably have to go through your tweaks to see what's causing issues more than once in your life, 
and uh, trust me, it isn't fun. That said, if you really want something more from your phone, if you want to push it to its limits and really unlock its potential, jailbreaking is amazing. It's also a ton of fun, at least if you're a nerd like me. The feeling of first jailbreaking a new phone and installing all your old tweaks is truly special. All of jailbreaking is relatively low risk if you know what you're doing. If you don't and you aren't super careful with what you install and how you install it, that risk is much, much higher. This is the reason, again, I can't really recommend doing it if you haven't before. I definitely don't want to be the cause of somebody going out and trying jailbreaking and ending up having to restore their phone and lose all their data. Don't do this unless you're confident. However, that being said, right now is probably the best time to jailbreak ever. I think many would argue that it more hit its peak in the iOS 5 days or so, and I get where you're coming from, but don't forget to take the nostalgia glasses off. Right now, we have a fully working jailbreak that's easily installed on any iPhone on iOS 13, except for, you know, the latest update. Plus, right now, the amount of power iPhones have is ridiculous, and once developers really start taking advantage of it, who knows what we could see on here. You can already emulate Nintendo Wii and GameCube games. That's right, full-fledged GameCube and Wii games on your iPhone. That's nuts. And who knows where things could go from here. 2020 might be the year the world ends, but hopefully not, because quite frankly, this is a very exciting time to be a tech nerd. But that's my take on things, and I'm just one guy with a bit of jailbreaking experience. Definitely not enough to be considered an expert of any kind. I'm probably more of an average user, but to be honest, I think the opinion from an average user is really the most important anyways. It helps you hopefully learn something about the real experience that you yourself will see, not just the basics of the basics or the super complicated end of the spectrum. Ultimately, whether or not you jailbreak is completely up to you. If you have confidence in your ability as a tech user, and if you take the proper precautions like backing up your phone, as well as being careful about what tweaks you download, it can be a lot of fun to do. I don't regret jailbreaking, I've never regretted jailbreaking, and while I probably won't be jailbroken forever, especially if I buy the new iPhone at the end of the year, right now I'm really enjoying it on my 11 Pro Max. Uh, it's fun. I haven't had this much fun with jailbreaking in a long time, and it's nice to kind of get back to that. Have you ever jailbroken? Are you thinking about it? Obviously, it's a much different scene than it used to be, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. If you found this video interesting or even helpful, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. You can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at 91 underscore tech if you'd like to for some reason. With that all being said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.